All right, well, casters, today we're talking about what happens when you're so engrossed in technology that you... Hey, yoo-hoo, girl on the screen talking to you. <laughs> you're not even listening to me. Look, the internet is cool. It allows you to stay in touch with basically everyone you've ever met, and you can Google random things like, what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? But sometimes you need to disconnect. Hey, if you're more concerned with checking Facebook than interacting with people right in front of you, or getting the next level on Temple Run instead of crossing the street safely, it may be time for you to take a slight step back from technology. And no worries, today on Wellcast, we're gonna help you do just that. And this episode was suggested by an entire class in San Antonio, Texas. Complete devoted immersion in the newest technology is something that the human race has done for a very long time. For example, did you know that in the 19th century there was a craze sweeping England called kaleidoscomania? Yeah. According to the Atlantic, people were so mesmerized by their new fancy kaleidoscopes that they were doing whatever the 19th century equivalent was of holding everyone up at a green light. Meep meep. Sorry. So what makes today different? Well, many young people, teenagers for example, have access to the latest up-to-date tech devices. How many of your friends have smartphones? Odds are, more than half of them. Are you watching this on a smartphone right now? As of 2012, 58% of all kids aged 13 to 17 have a smartphone. In fact, the percentage of American teenagers who own smartphones is greater than the percentage of humans on this earth that own smartphones. And we use the heck out of our smartphones. <laughs> you always forget to bring up computers. Okay, and our computers, Karen, thank you. Someone get her craft services. A 2012 Forrester study found that consumers spend almost 20 hours a week on the internet a term that wouldn't even cover things that we do on our phones, like checking Facebook or sending out a tweet. Well, we're gonna help you wean off your dependency on technology, starting with just one hour a day. Tip one, schedule periods each day that are designated as tech-free. Give your phone, iPad, or computer to a parent or roommate and tell them not to give it back to you for an hour. Then go do something engaging. Read a book, go shoot some hoops, Go to an art gallery and enjoy the paintings without Instagramming them. You'd be amazed at the fun you can still have when you're not attached to your device. Tip two, when you can, do it in person. Do what in person, you ask? Everything. If you're sitting three feet from your friend but still texting them, put down your phone, walk over, and have a conversation. If you're in an office, Try stretching your legs and having a meeting with your coworker rather than communicating via instant message. Human interaction is good for you. Human beings need to interact with others every once in a while. Tip three, go outside. We will still be here when you get back. Leave your phones and computers and sonic screwdrivers inside and go do something outdoors. Tip four, don't fall asleep with your phone. If you sleep with your phone right next to you, it'll give you the temptation to check CNN right before you go to sleep or, or check Flipboard or, or check your Facebook status or see who's updating on, on Instagram and The Onion always has really silly stuff. Do you guys know about Reddit? It's, I, I really love Reddit, it's kind of weird some, so, sorry, uh, I'm gonna put my phone away. And then if you're sleeping with your phone or whatever and you wake up, and your phone's right there, you're gonna check your Facebook status again, you're gonna check Instagram again. It's an endless, endless process, and it'll be there when you grab your phone, which should be charging in the living room, not next to your bed. To recap, schedule periods of time each day that are tech-free. Do more things in person. Go outside, and don't sleep with your phone. Don't sleep next to your phone. Don't sleep on your phone. Just keep sleep and phone in two separate rooms. Bye, guys. Tweet us at WatchWellCast, email us at watchwellcast at gmail.com, or leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.